Hello, my name is uh, Michael Penchek and we are talking today about progressive lenses for pilots. So this video is um, more targeted toward pilots uh, with presbyopia, which means um, without your, uh, when you're not sitting in your plane and you try to read something, you already need your reading glasses. So in this video you will get the information about what to consider when buying your progressive lenses for pilots and uh, what you should avoid. Have fun with the video. So as we think about the, uh, the, your situation in your cockpit, you have uh, the different distances. You have distance vision as you look out of the window, which uh, need to be sharp. You have uh, the mid distance in most cases above your head and you have uh, the mid distance um, under the window and um, your checklist in your hand, which is close up reading. So we have a few different lens designs here to provide you with the best visual comfort uh, during the flight in your cockpit. The first lens design is a combination of a bifocal lens and a progressive lens. And uh, in the lower part, uh, which I will show you here in this illustration, is um, the uh, gray fields displayed and they represent fields of blurry vision as you perform eye movements from left to right. So you need to point your nose a little bit more into the direction you want to see clearly in. The green fields represent the uh, mid distance, the red zones represents your prescription in the lens for close up reading. Depending on your personal preferences um, for the bifocal designs, you will get um, a different bifocal lens segments uh, and you can choose um, uh, from different shapes. You can get them in a more rounder um, way or you can get them in a very straight way. If you prefer to get the segment size really, really big, um, you can have some sort uh, of lens design like this, uh, which is a uh, Franklin lens here. And um, what happens when you add uh, a lot of size to the bifocal lens design or to the near segment, more to say, you will get a clearer visible edge. But that's actually not all. So uh, some people prefer uh, the bifocal lens in uh, the upper part. Um, but you could also get them uh, in a trifocal way, um, like in this illustration here. So all of the zones in, in the lenses are separated from each, each other, which means you have multiple edges on the lenses surface, but you can also get them in a double progressive fashion, which means you have a progressive lens. As you uh, look down, you get the reading power. And as you look up, you get the reading power, uh, which is shown in this illustration here. So let's talk about what you should avoid uh, when uh, buying progressive lenses for pilots. One thing is the polarization feature. The polarization could mess up the color scheme of your screens. Um, of your displays and um, depending on the position of your screen, it uh, may turn them black. One thing you should consider um, when buying your progressive lenses for pilots is um, an anti-reflective coating. So don't try to save on that. The reason is just you have um, little lights everywhere around you in your cockpit and they could be mirrored on the back surface of your lenses into your eyes. That's why I wouldn't save on that. One thing in addition I would consider is as you buy progressive lenses, you can always choose the length of the corridor. The length of the corridor determines um, how much you have to look down in order to reach the reading power of the lenses and um, you can usually choose between 14 to up to 20 millimeters. As you're really tall, I recommend uh, you get the longer lenses. The longer lenses um, 
uh, always provides you with a bigger field of view and if you are a little shorter like me <laughs> you should uh, choose uh, the medium sized ones uh, which are around uh, 60 millimeters. If you like to um, get really really fast into the reading zone you should just stick with a short progressive lens. And as we are talking about the uh, reading zone and the size of the reading zone you can uh, make uh, the zone even bigger uh, as you uh, get your progressive lenses individualized uh, with an uh, optimization for your pupillar distance. It is not available for every um, progressive lens for pilots, but some special lens manufacturers um, provide it. So ask your optician, ask your optometrist um, to get you the best visual comfort. So if you like this video, uh, please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And um, if you want to learn more about progressive lenses, or in uh, this case, uh, progressive lenses for pilots, just uh, search for the term uh, on Google and you will find my blog, progressive-glasses.com. Thank you.